Thanks for coming, everyone. Uh, Honourable Minister, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're at the Montserrat National Trust today um, to officially open the Mountain Chicken exhibition and also to celebrate the fourth release of Mountain Chickens in the Forest of Montserrat, which takes place this afternoon. Uh, we received 52 Mountain Chicken Frogs from zoos in the UK on Tuesday. We're really excited. The frogs are doing really well. We've kept them here at the Trust for the last few days and we've just been checking on them and everything's gone really smoothly. And uh, So we're really looking forward to uh, this afternoon when we're going to let them loose in the forest and hopefully they'll do really well and we'll, we'll be following them for the next uh, few months and uh, tracking their, their progress. Um, I'd like to invite the... Uh, Honourable Minister Farrell, to, to say a few words. I'm very pleased to be here. We're here to witness the launching of the, or the opening of the exhibition, Monty Chicken exhibition, and to prepare for the fourth launch of the captive bred mountain chickens in the forest this evening. These mountain chickens were flown in from the UK on Tuesday past, Tuesday gone, and after a few days of observation, they are now ready for release. The last release of the frogs was in November 2012 and was followed by the unusual intensive monitoring regime. The valuable information collected during this monitoring is now being analyzed at the University of London. On behalf of the Ministry of Agriculture, I would like to congratulate the Department of the Environment and the Mountain Chicken Project team for all their hard work and success during the past phases of this project. Ladies and gentlemen, I was very privileged to have been part of an exciting new phase of the program in July 2013. That is the development of the long-term recovery program for the Mountain Chicken. This ambitious 20-year program will foster closer ties with our sister, Dominique, country Dominica, the only other island where the mountain chicken lives in the wild. This long-term recovery program cements the commitment of the collaborating partners to ensure the global, ex global extinction of the frog will not occur, and certainly not under their watch. Let me take this opportunity to thank, on behalf of the government of Montserrat, the government of Dominica, Darrell Life Conservation Trust and Jersey Zoo, Zoological Society of London and Chester Zoo for their sterling work, time and effort that the agencies have invested in this mountain chicken project. The long-term recovery program for the mountain chicken will continue to survey surveying surviving frogs, both from Dominica and here in Montserrat. As we do this, data is being collected the local capacity has been built and being strengthened, and research is on the way to mitigate against the impact of the deadly chytrid fungus. This 20-year initiative will not only be beneficial to Montserrat, but perhaps lays the foundation for cutting-edge research to reduce the number of amphibian extinctions attributed to the kindred fungus worldwide. The government of Montserrat, which is the Department of Environment, with its team, and I notice our good friend is back. <laughs> um, Martin Shigel will not be what it is without you, Sarah. Lloyd, Laura, Calvin Blacker, and all the other volunteers, Chris, Karen, and all of you who have contributed so, so greatly to this project, we should thank you very much for your contribution, knowing that you have spent endless hours trying to ensure the survival of this rare species. Once again, I beseech you as the public to do your best to do your part in assisting the Department of the Environment to help conserve the mountain chicken. I encourage you to contact the Department of Environment if you hear a mountain chicken calling, calling and happen to spot one in the forest. Additionally, embracing the concept of taking nothing but pictures and leaving nothing but footprints goes a long way in ensuring that the integrity of the forest is maintained, thus enhancing the survival of not only the mountain chicken, but all species in Montserrat. 
We wish to thank all of you for being here this afternoon. And we wish you all the best, and the frogs, of course, as we disperse them in the wild. Thank you very much.